Let's now create the geometry. We create a sketch and then a surface body from the sketch. So go back to the project page and double click on geometry to bring up the um, geometry engine, which is called Design Modeler. Select inches as the, um, the length unit in which we will create the geometry. Okay. We'll create the sketch on the XY plane. So select XY plane and look at plane over here. So you're looking at the plane where you're sketching and go into the sketching tab and rectangle. Then hover the cursor around the origin until you see the P, which means the cursor is coincident with the point over there, which is the origin. And then hold down the left mouse button and draw a rectangle. And let's dimension the rectangle. So I'll go into the dimensions toolbar here and add a dimension for the <coughs> length and the height. And if you go back to the problem specification, you see that the height h is 8 inches and the length is 100. So, <clears throat> I, so this is 100 inches and this is 8. And I can select zoom to fit to see the entire rectangle and I can go and go down here. Under Dimensions Toolbar, we select Move to move the dimensions. And I can also select Display and unselect Name, which means it will display the value, which is a little bit more convenient. Okay, so we have the rectangle now. We need to do an additional thing, which is add a point where we will apply a point load. So if you go to the problem specification, you see there's a point load. So we need a point there, uh, otherwise we won't be able to apply the point load. And we will, we will create a corresponding point below. That gives you a nice uniform mesh. You don't necessarily need to do that. It is recommended. So I go under Modify and select Split and I will put my point in there and now I want to, like I mentioned, I want to create a corresponding point here. So I will create that and then I want to make uh, these uh, equal length. So I go under constraints. I scroll down equal length. And it says so if you look to the lower left, it says select first line for equal length constraint. So I select that. Then it says select second line for equal length constraint. So I select that. And now and so there's added the constraints, which you can see if you want to show constraints. Um, and so now we have the sketch that we need. And so I need to create a surface body, i.e. area from the sketch. And I do that by going in the concept, surfaces from sketches. And that takes me into the modeling tab. And I need to tell it from which sketch to create the surface. So I can click anywhere on the sketch, apply. 
and then I need to <coughs> um, click general. Okay, so it will actually create um, the surface body or the area. And if I don't want to see the sketch, I can go in and deselect this. So I just see the area that I have. Um, and if I look over here, um, I'll see that it has a surface body, which is what answers calls the area. And <coughs> I'll, let me give it a thickness. Now this thickness uh, is not, you know, it goes into the element formulation because we're going to use plane stress or plane strain. This is not a 3D model. So thickness is three inches. So that's all there is to the geometry creation. So I'll save the project. And I'll close design modeler. And I'll go back to the project page. And I have a tick mark next to geometry, which means that I'm good to go.